Hey guys, Tammy Trier, TrierWilderness.com. The Mountain Boy is recording and I am trying to get us home in this sloppy mess. And I just thought we would record this because it's gonna, oh, come on girl, there we go, sorry. Um, this is not nice. Um, as I had showed you guys this summer, they were logging behind us and now they're burning all the slash piles. I did another video that I'll probably stick in here because that was the one that was close to the house, but this is along the lane and it's quite something to see this, especially at night because um, I think they'll have this going the whole way down the road, but um, oh, come on, girl. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Anyway, there's some of the flames. They burn these piles. Um, our big industry out here is logging, so they log the land, kind of rape it in a lot of places, which is really sad. Um, but they did a fairly nice job out here. But then they burn all the garbage piles, which honestly, wow, shine it down that way, Austin. Well, they'll see it when we go around the corner. But uh, it's sad because in these piles, there's a lot of uh, salvageable timber for firewood, for cedar, for posts. I mean, it's it kind of sickens me that they burn these piles the way they do. Um, and then if you do want to get something out of it, you have to pay 50 cents a log, which is also kind of disturbing being that they're going to just burn it anyway. But, um, and the smoke, the air quality, I mean, at back here, we had to shut the fans off all the way, gosh, five miles back because you could smell it. And the, the, the uh, local town is just inundated with smoke from this. But, it burns fast. They smolder for quite a long time. These piles make great, you know, like little tree stands, if you will. Get up in the top of them and kind of hunker in. Um, the one I was in a couple years ago was like a little nest and I had a great spot to rest my rifle on stuff and it's good camouflage. But anyway, I just thought I'd show you this. Are you getting all the, the flame? Woo! Yeah. Come on, Bertha. Get me home. Keep an eye on the road. I'm on the road. You're video and I hope you're getting it. <laughs> yep. Hey. But as you can see, I mean, they didn't light all the piles. There's a bunch here, so they're kind of selective in killing us all at one shot with the smoke and that. But, and would it be dry here? This would be a little scary, but it's real. I mean, we've got three feet of snow, so. Um, but it's quite something. When they burned by the house, it was really something to see. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. We need change for this girl. Oh, anyway. Um, when they were burning close to the house. Now here, look at this. They started burning those ones that are right next to the house. Creepy. Oh my word. Shine, show that. Wow. That is creepy. On the left side is on the other side. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Stop crab walking. Go straight, go straight, go straight. Okay. Um, on the right hand side, I did not want to end it up in a ditch, so sorry, and I do talk to my truck. Um, and actually, this is Austin's. But um, on the right-hand side here is right next to the house, right back of the house. So, you know, good winds and stuff, it gets scary, but it's not windy today. It has been um, this week, but I picked a good day. But look at all the smoke. I mean, it'll be quite stinky here. They burned those earlier in the day, so they're kind of burned down. It's not quite so bad, but it's quite something to see. Come on, 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 come on. Yeehaw. All right. Here we go. Whoa. Don't shoot off. Look at that, though. Is that not something? Are you getting that? Mm -hmm. We had eight elk run across the lane here the other night on the way home. And in the morning, um, back a ways, we had a black wolf, real dark wolf. It wasn't solid black, but a uh, real dark wolf run across. Oh, come on, girl. Um, run across in front of us and of course it was too fast and we were on our way out and slipping and sliding so we didn't get a chance to um, get a shot at it but and I know for some of you animal lovers that really upsets you but these things are huge they are massive and they are destructive so um, with our animals and, and being that it was less than a quarter of a mile to the house it's a little nerving um, and the wolves out here are um, they're killing machines. They kill to kill. They kill and they'll leave it lay. Um, mountain man used to take pack tricks, trips back into Wyoming, the back country, and they saw 13 elk on the trail that were just, you know, chewed in the gut and left to lay. 
you know, they weren't eating it. They were just killing it. So it's pretty sad. So, you know, you got to protect yourself first. I mean, they're beautiful animals and it was really cool to see, but at the same time, you know, ooh, ooh, come on, girl. All right. Hey, we made it home and I didn't get it in a ditch and we showed you the fires. So anyway, there you can show them the fires through there. That looks kind of wild. Yeah, so can't really see it. Now you can. So can't really see oh, it. Oh, it's pretty dark. Yeah. See that? All right. Well, anyway, guys, thanks for joining us. Just thought we'd share that with you and take you for a ride, literally. And um, <laughs> hope you guys are all well and we will catch you on the next video. <laughs> God bless. bunch of elk crossing the road right up here. I don't know if you can see them. Right in here. There she goes. There she goes. There's a whole bunch of them. Here come the rest of them. See them right there? There's about eight of them. How cool is that? I saw a black wolf on the way out yesterday. It's moving way too fast to do anything about it, but that's what trapping season's for. There it goes. There they go. Can't see them at any further, guys, or I would. <laughs>